guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to be showing you this Origami Masu box. Um, it's pretty strong if it, you um, make it out of printer paper. And if you, and like, if you turn it upside down like this, it can hold some weight. If you're making a project to make a tower, I'd recommend using some of these. So, yeah, I... And you can also like make one, like once you make your original like one of these, then you can make another one made out of a slightly smaller paper than the one you use to make this. And it can like use it as a lid. So it's actually a real box. So yeah, well, let's get straight to it. Okay, so the model starts with a square sheet of paper. Um, I have this double-sided paper, you should already know, or know already, or whatever. So, we're going to fold in half diagonally, fold diagonally in half both ways. Then unfold and fold in half this way. So we have these little, well for this one you can just, well, well never mind, <laughs> you just fold in half. I was going to say to make a little crease mark right here, but I think you'll need to fold them. So and unfold, and then make the creases a little true so you can see them. And now we're just going to flatten it out. Just try to make these creases just pieces. They're not. They're like neutral. They're not going one side, but they're not. They're not going one side, and they're not going the other. So it's just one regular crease. So now we got these creases, and you fold this point to this low intersection and then this point to this intersection so just folding the opposite corners to the center this and then fold this edge to this crease and this edge to this crease. And like make sure to hold this corner down while you're creasing so that they don't like slip. But if it's like sticking out a tiny bit, it's okay. little corner right here it's okay <clears throat> if it's sticking out it won't really affect the model too much and then fold this edge to the middle crease And then crease. And now, what we're gonna do is take take this um little point and fold down on it. Well, first of all, you can just fold back on these two points just to make it easier, so that the um. What should I say? Um, that like you can get this point because this point is like at the same point as this one. <clears throat> so now we're just gonna fold down so that so just so turn it over 180 degrees and then you're just gonna fold down so that 
this um, crease is touching this little thing, and then just cre and then that this point is touching the bottom when you fold it. So there we go. That's one side done, and now do the other. So we're gonna turn it over, fold up. Also, so that this crease is aligned with this little crease down there. And then turn it over. And then fold down. We're just doing the same thing. So, so that this crease aligns with here. I think that's good. And now you should have this little square. So um, now we are going to. This is a little hard part. So we're going to fold it so that this edge aligns with the crease. So you're just going to open it up and fold it right on the crease. Then just. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you can unfold this. So fold it up like that so that this edge aligns with. Like this little crease right here. And crease it. And now going to make a mountain fold like right here that starts from this point and goes all the way to here so we're just like kind of shaping it Pretty good. Turn it over and fold this back. <laughs> Just checking it. All right, so now we're gonna do it on the other side. <laughs> so we're just gonna. Just try folding this down and then making the mountain. So then you have a little guideline. And there we go. Okay, we got one side done. So, just gonna check it. Okay, it, sh it should be fine. And now, well, we're not done. <laughs> we're just gonna open this up. And we're just like folding down on here. That's that's an easier way. And close it back up. Okay, so now I got one side done. Now we're gonna turn it over and do it the other. So we're just gonna take it so that this edge aligns with the fold. <laughs> I 
I'm trying to focus on the model in real life and not on the camera, so sorry if it's like out of the camera. So now we got this, and we're just going to open it up. This is like the way easier way. So, okay, so you just do this. And then we're just going to fold it down on this crease right here. And then this crease aligns with the big crease. So now unfold and fold these two sides back into the center. Wait, we just unfold right here and unfold the two sides. Fold it back down and try to make these two creases true because I think they would have come undone in the process. Okay, so I bet we're done here. So now we're just gonna take, put your finger right on this point, like with this point, just put it right there. So put a finger on this point and Well, why don't you just fold these two, your finger right here and here, open it up, keeping your fingers there, and push inside. Now we're just going to fold these two inside the little box, and this one, and then just put this down, and this down. There you go, your very own masseuse box. Just make the top creases true. I'm like pushing quite hard on these creases. So, yeah, just, and then just make these creases sharp. Push these corners down. And there you go. Your masseu box. So, printer paper people. <laughs> um, you can put, I don't know, a bag of crayons on here. Um, if you're making it out of printer paper, you could just put a bag of crayons on here. And it would, of course, hold it. So, it's pretty strong. Actually... I think this would work. Let's see. Oh, hey. Now it's a real masseu box. <laughs> and then just make a little opening right here so you can put your finger in there. Then just roll it up and put your stuff in here. And then. Just try to slide it back in. So, yeah, that's the Masu box. I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, yeah. <clears throat> don't forget to um, don't forget to um, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos. So, yeah.